Hey guys, this is uh, the first video in our series of um, doing NBT past question paper, right? So this is actually from an actual NBT past paper. And if you've looked at some uh, from previous years, they typically don't do for that much. Um, so you can be able to understand this one, and take these principles, I guarantee you'll be able to answer the ones that are going to be in the paper this year. But without wasting a lot of time, I suggest that we jump straight into it and try to solve some of these questions. So question one is asking us a question which says that, what is the sum of the solutions of this expression? So you're given x minus two multiplied by x plus one, multiplied by x plus three is equal to zero. But obviously that is only divided by x minus one. So um, it's, you can see it here that you cannot just go and find the solutions. Uh, you just need to first find the solutions of x and then you need to find the sum of them. Now to find the solution of x, it would mean that we need to get rid of uh, the denominator, which is x minus one, because we are unable to say x is equal to two, x is equal to negative one, and x is equal to negative three. So then what we do in that case, we take the x minus one, and then we basically multiply by that every term that is in this. Now there's one term, on the left side of the equal sign, and there's also one term on the right side of the equal sign. So what we do then in this case, we basically just multiply by x minus one, the whole thing. So let's say x minus one here, and then on the other side, I'm gonna say x minus one. So if I do this, then the x is gonna cancel, the x minus one is gonna cancel this x minus one, and then zero is gonna be multiplied by x minus one, which we know that it's going to be the same thing. So then after canceling that, we'd have x minus two, multiplied by x plus one, and then multiplied by x plus three. And that would be equal to zero times x minus one, which would just be zero, because anything multiplied by zero is zero. So then at the end of it, we then say, okay, x is equal to two, x is equal to negative one, um, and x is equal to negative three. And then from there, since it said that we need to find the sum of the solutions, well, we'll then have to add up our solutions. So it'll be two plus minus one, which would then just be minus one, uh, plus minus three, which is then just minus three. So two minus one is negative, uh, two minus one is positive one, uh, minus three, negative two. And so our answer for that question would be B. So that'll be uh, the solution to our first question. Uh, tune into the next video to find the solution to the next problem. Cheers. See you later, mate. <laughs>